Hello, my name is Lady Catherine Marie, and welcome to my first video. I hope this is going to be a place where I can kind of put like all my little endeavors, or maybe some big ones, like whether it's like historical stuff, or sewing, or baking, or cooking, or reading, just a place where I can put all the things that I have fun doing, and I hope you enjoy as well. Um, and I mean, before we start, I should probably mention that I'm not an expert in any of these areas and so this is probably gonna be the first time I'm doing most of these things uh, like today and so you know it would be great come along see what I'm doing but also learn from my mistakes because I'm sure I will be making some Now today um, I'm hoping to make a Victorian walking skirt um, and so I'm very interested in historical things and actually part of that is probably because of this book, um, The Revealing Story of Underwear by Katie Danes. Um, I got it when I was little because I thought it was like funny and I was like oh it's about underwear but it's actually proved to be quite interesting and obviously I'm still interested about these things so yeah. Um, now, I have already gone um, to the store to get the fabric, so let me show you what I have. So, here is the fabric I was thinking for the actual skirt. It's, I believe, wool, rayon, cotton, and maybe a bit of polyester. It's a blend. It's quite thin, but it's suiting material, so it's supposed to be um, relatively warm. Um, now, of course, we are in the Victorian times. That's when the skirts were, like, really huge. This is more of the end of the Victorian era, so they're not quite quite as big. Um, we don't have any massive panniers, but it's still quite large. So we're going to need um, something for petticoats to put underneath to give it that nice puff. So I also, whoops, got, I believe this is like cotton rayon. It's just some nice light white fabric. And I got tulle as well. Um, and they did use tulle, but it wasn't this kind of tool, so we shall see uh, what we do with it. But we're probably going to start with the petticoat just because you want to know, well, I'm assuming, <laughs> how big the skirt is before you can actually get the overskirt because you don't want to have it all skinny. Um, now I'm probably going to show you kind of my ideas, um, maybe draw a little bit just to kind of get an idea of what I'm doing. And, um, just so you can get, like, I'll show you some reference photos, kind of what I'm thinking. This is a Victorian walking skirt. These are just ads, but if you go down here, this is kind of the sort of thing I'm thinking about. You have the nice skirt here, um, and probably some um, petticoats underneath. But it's not completely huge like it would have been before, but it's still got quite a nice amount of volume to it. Um, so that's that. But then you also have um, the petticoats. Um, and it's probably going to be made out of our tool and some of the, um, white fabric, if it decides to search. And so here we have some petticoats. Now, obviously these are all modern. Right, but um, this kind of this kind of idea where you have um the layers of tulle. Now, tulle was used, but not really. It was mainly, um, it was mainly fabric, kind of more like this. Um, but we can kind of get a sense of this. Um, but tulle is kind of what's available to me, rather than getting uh, meters upon meters of fabric. Um, so we're probably gonna go down that road. Um. But this is the sort of thing I was thinking um, we'd probably, well, I'll show you. Okay, so this is what I was kind of thinking for the walking skirt. So you have, you know, if you have the volume here, it may add like a little bit more to the petticoats just because this is looking a little bit Edwardian. And um, so you have, um, you know, your sporting petticoats underneath. Um, mine, I want to have full length, so it just goes to about your ankle. Um, and then, of course, our dark brown and uh, we have a mix of fabrics like that. But for our petticoats that go underneath, we're probably going to want to have a bunch of different layers of them to give it kind of more puff and have it nice and gathered at the top. So let me try and like sketch an idea of kind of what I'm thinking and I'll go from there.
Okay, now this is a rather strange drawing, but just so you can get the idea, you would kind of, like this would be tulle. Um, there may be like a petticoat cover that go over it um, as well with the kind of the cotton fabric, but this would kind of be like the first layer here and it would go all the way down to the bottom and you just add on like a second layer and then of course your third layer is gonna go down to the bottom like this and so it's just kind of like you're adding on the layers so the first layer goes all the way down the second layer goes like part way down and the third layer goes down there um and so it's just kind of flussy and then it would also be like gathered so you'd have like a bunch like it would probably be like a circle skirt right so it has a nice circle but then um you would have like gathered so you would actually have like more fabric than just your circumference but it would be yeah just so that you give it like, lots of volume and just so it's nice and fluffy and then this you're going to want it to not reach um like the same you of course don't want it to be longer than um your outside skirt because then it will um then a little show right so it's probably going to be like kind of like shin length almost so it's not quite to like your ankles if your ankles are like here it will be kind of more to like your shins here so it would yeah like shin length i think um i think it's called officially like street length or something and then to fasten it um i did um get some like ribbon so i was thinking just like um regular ribbon to fasten it and you have like a bow at um like the back or something <laughs> or the front um because i think that was used they just use like a strip of ribbon or um like some of the fabric or something um but like obviously we can't use tool and we have ribbon so we use that as like kind of a fastener um so yeah we have now my drawings are not to scale <laughs> but that's all right um, we have our skirt. This is, oh, I should mention from like a side profile here. So it's not, um, this is not the front. So you'd have like your butt here and then it's like the front here, but maybe there's like more floof. I don't know. Um, and then of course this will be like white and yeah, now with the bow, that does mean that there'll be like a line running through the back that's like open but I think that's okay or you could just make it wider at the top like so that it's, it doesn't fit your waist like if this is your waist and then you use the ribbon to tie it around you so you have the bow like that so it's kind of more like I don't know <laughs> so that you like step into it I guess we'll cross that bridge when we come to it but yeah okay this is like the basic idea Okay, so I've just been, like, messing around on my mannequin dress form thing. It's kind of weird here because I had extra fabric and I, I've just been, like, pinning it. I didn't want to um, sew anything yet, um, obviously, because I haven't done anything. But um, this is, like, kind of the idea. Oops. So you have kind of, like, the first layer here and that goes, like, down. It's not... Oh, and then I folded them in half. So there's actually, like, like this is, like, not just one layer of tulle. It's two layers of tulle. And then it's, like, same with um, all three of them. And... So like this goes down and it's just like pinned here and then this one is like adding another layer. And this is so that it's not like just like out and then straight down because that would be kind of weird. It's kind of more like, well, the idea is that it goes kind of more like that. Um, so yeah, this is Eliza, by the way, my wonderful dress form. Okay, so like this is just with like a random skirt and it's like a poodle skirt that I have just on top. So you can see it like gives it more volume because it has like all of this. Now it's not like, of course, it's not properly, um, whoops bunched because it's just pinned right so normally you have it like all nicely gathered but I didn't cut anything or sew anything so um it's just like kind of random so it would probably have more volume actually but for the walking skirt it makes sense because it would have been like kind of more mid to late Victorian um so you wouldn't want like too like amazing as a volume now another thing I was thinking is I could get like a bustle pad or something to put in there so what I was thinking I put like a slipper under there just to, like show you so if I like get just like a random slipper here, I can just stick it underneath. And then it's kind of like, because you know, it's like, you know, kind of, not really at all, like a bustle pad. But you know, you'd like stick it there and wait one second, I'll pause it and show you. So, I mean, it, it's a little, <laughs> a little fun, but you would have it like there so that it's kind of, and so we could like make that apparently not too difficult. You could just stuff it with like, I mean, like stuffing or like fabric scraps or something. 
but this is the idea so then it's like this and in the future I'm thinking I'll make like kind of like a bigger skirt like kind of more early Victorian and for that I can make a crinoline but I feel like for this purpose I feel like just having like the tool petticoats works well and then I can also I mean if I want I can also like do more with this fabric but I feel like just for this it works well I feel like the length it could be a little shorter but like again I was just like randomly pinning here like it, it reaches the floor pretty much so I would probably want to um make it like well maybe not quite the short as the skirt but kind of like more like here kind of level it was like mid shin um but yeah this is kind of the idea and then i'll like show you well i'll figure out the math and patterns and stuff but yeah okay okay so for the petticoat so for the measurements i want it probably like 75 meters down right so that's from my waist to yeah like like mid shin level um like that and then we'd probably want the first if you're looking at it you could have this like 20 centimeters right so then this starts at the 20 centimeter mark and then this to like the 40 meter mark or something sorry and then this is just like the rest of the way down. So what is that like? Yeah, like 15. So, yeah. Or you could do like, you could switch it. So this is 15 and then this is 20 and this is 40. So we'll see. And then for, we thinking, we don't technically need a measure for my waist because we're just going to be bunching it kind of um, on me or on my mannequin friend. Uh, her name is Eliza, by the way. Amazing. Um, so, yeah, one second. Let me just figure this out. Okay, so <laughs> I've done some stuff. So the full length is going to be 75 centimeters, right? And so when, so this isn't like the full length of like the actual ruffle because it's not going to be like, one and then the next one starts and the next one starts it's kind of but it's gonna be like one that goes all the way down and then the second one starts at one point and then it goes all the way down and then it, the third one starts at a point and it goes all the way down so it like adds on right so this is like one two three um so oops so that's that and so the first ruffle i'm thinking is yeah it's gonna be um probably um like 15 centimeters until the next one starts and that one's gonna be 20 centimeters and then the all three of them, or just like however much we have left, is going to be 40 centimeters, I'm thinking. Um, so, yes. Now, we have 300 centimeters of tool. So, I mean, we could put it out evenly, but I feel like the first one, because you don't want, you don't want it to be like, if this is like, this is a horrible drawing. But like, if this is it, you don't want to go out and then write down, like, and have it kind of like, kind of like drastically goes out at the at the waist this is you by the way <laughs> this is the skirt you cannot tell um you don't want it to be so drastic i feel like you would want um it to kind of more like 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 instead of having this is your waist yeah having it like really go out like this i feel like you kind of want it to be kind of more like gradual like this side well i mean it wouldn't be that big it would be kind of more like this but, like, instead of having it, like, really, like, this is, like, the main part, it kind of, like, just, like, after a while, it kind of gets a little wider. Um, because here it just goes out and then it goes straight down. But you kind of want it to be, like, like, I can keep on, like, imagining, like, the Cinderella dress in my head. I don't know. Like, I guess it's kind of, like. <laughs> um, and so I feel like the first one, I mean, the last one, you can probably have it, like, 100 centimeters or something. Well, you know, you'd probably want it more. So you could have, like, this one could be... So we have to think, because my waist is 63 centimeters, right? And is it? Something like that. Um, and so, obviously, you want more so that you can have, like, the ruffles. So you could make it, like, I don't know how many centimeters you need in the, like, having the uh, gathered, like, bunched up stuff. But you could make it like 75 maybe, like maybe 75 centimeters. And then you could make this one like 100. And then you could make this one 120, 
25. This is probably like you have it like just so that it's like 25 centimeters more each time so you have like slightly more ruffles. But then you also have a wider way to go around so I don't know. I don't know. Well, I feel like it doesn't need to be like exactly like perfectly measured though. I mean, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I feel like... I feel like I didn't explain that very well. So what I mean is, this is like the ruler, right? So 75 centimeters is here. So then like down, and by the way, this is folded in half. Um, so I think I'm gonna just keep it folded in half because if it's like all the way, it's gonna um, reach like the floor and we don't want that because we don't want it to like show. Um, so yeah, so the first one would just be like 75 centimeters cut down here and then um, it would just be like gathered to 63 centimeters or whatever. Um, and for the fastenings, you can just have like the, well, it's like, like a zipper. So like, um, let me just grab a skirt. So it'd be like this, instead of having it like this with a zipper, it would be like this, except like this could be like not, um, it didn't probably wouldn't have to be as long and you would just use, um, uh, ribbon, right? And then it, you could just leave this open because it's underneath and it would be just probably like just hold closed. So you would just, yeah, you just have like a little kind of like cut and then just tie it with a zipper. Um, I mean, the tool doesn't fray, so you don't really need to like hem it or anything. It would just, yeah. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Um, so I think, um, I think I may just go ahead and try and cut it. Um, I'm going to try... I think, yeah, I'm going to keep it in half to cut it. I'll make sure it's, like, lined up and stuff so it's not quite this. And then this floor works because I can just follow the lines here. And then I don't know how big each square is, but, like, yeah, so each square is, like, 12 centimeters. So then I can just, yeah, okay. All right, I'll figure it out. Okay. Okay, so this is what we have. We have some books holding it down. And so I think I'm just going to, like, cut along this line. It's not exactly 75 centimeters. Um, so maybe I'll, like, move it over a little bit so that it is more lined up. Um, but yeah, I think I will cut this, and, uh, I'll probably cut the other pieces as well. Okay. Ah, uh, so, okay, um, I'm not very smart. So, you have the waist, right? And I didn't think that, oh, well, the hips are probably bigger than 75 centimeters, huh? So, I, I pinned it there, but then when we go around... Like, of course, it closes here, but it doesn't close here because, well, there's, I mean, there's extra room here. But... This is why you want to think things through first. What would happen if, mm hmm so, um, okay, wait, let me think on it. Stress relief break. This is Pepper. Yes, he's very good at messing things up. Oh yeah. Mm hmm. You're helping so much. Thank you. Thank you. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Pepper, stop it. No, this isn't yours. Oh, this is so cute. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. This, this will be a problem. Um, uh-huh, I don't know what I was thinking because this is not poofy. This is not poofy. No, I do not see a poof. I do not see a poof. I see slick, tight, not fitting. I see a cat that's licking his butt. I do not see a poof. So, um, I'm going to talk to my mother. See what she has to say. So, so far what we've learned is that if your hips are 75 centimeters, or sorry, not 75, 77 centimeters, and your waist is only 63, well, it's great that your waist is only 63, because that means that you don't need 75 centimeters worth of fabric, and you can bunch it up, but if your hips are 77, that 75 centimeter fabric is not going to fit around them. So... This is fun. I think what I'm just going to end up doing is adding more. Or really from the bottom. Also, though, that's more than two centimeters, so I don't know. I don't know. It's the butt here. That's 
making a difference. <sighs> okay, so... <laughs> I honestly don't know what I was thinking. I just... Dumb, dumb stuff. This, I think I'm just gonna set aside for another project because... Again, I was not thinking, and we actually got 6 meters fabric instead of 3. So, we have about 4 meters left. So, instead of doing 75 centimeters, I think I'll do 100. Um, for this, I also pinned it, so hopefully that makes it easier. Um, I'll do like 100 centimeters for the first layer, and then for the second layer and the third layer, I'll do 150 centimeters, or like whatever's left, um, for the third layer. And I feel like that's gonna work a little better. Um... So, think things through before you cut. That's, that's, yeah. I told you there will be mistakes. Okay, here is our tool. Take two. So, yeah, this works a lot better. It actually fits. And there's room to spare for the bunching. So, yay. Uh, I'll cut the other pieces now. Okay, I have successfully cut the pieces. Well, I'm pretty sure it's successful. And I labeled them just to make sure that I don't forget, because, well, I mean, I could figure it out, but just to be okay like that, it only took me two tries, so, you know, that's, that's not horrible. Okay, so I have the pieces all laid out here. And so, um, I done some thinking, and so I think I told you about this before, but, like, the first one is going to be 15, and then the second one's 20, and the, um... It runs 40 centimeters. But let me show you how um, I was thinking of doing the ruffles because you want to make sure that, because if you do like, if you do like the first one and you ruffle it and the second one ruffle it and the third one ruffle it and then you sew them together, you're going to end up with like a cylinder and you don't want a cylinder, you want like a cone, kind of like a thing. So um, if we ruffle the, the third one, this one, the third one first, so that it lines up with the second one, like so that it lines up and that way, like, it's like that, and then you do the second one and make it, and then you attach it, and then you do the second one and attach it, um, ruffle it so it's the same, and then attach it to the first one. That way, it should be kind of more, like, coney when you, um, make it, like, round and circular. Sorry, my, <laughs> probably not helping. Okay, but, the thing is, each thing, like, the length this way is 72 centimeters, and I want, like, the full length on me, awkward socks, to be 72 centimeters, so, I have to figure out how long this needs to be, because I want the first one just by itself to be 15 centimeters. Whoops, it's not focusing. 15 centimeters. And then I want the second one just by, its, well, by itself, with the first one as well, to be 20 centimeters. And then all of them, like, just like 40 centimeters left with the third one added on. But, of course, all of these added together are going to be, like, really long, right? So... I need to wear it if I want to like fold because this, all of these layers right now are doubled up. Like there are two pieces here. Like there's a fold here. And so I don't know if I want to fold it over again. This would make it what, like 35 centimeters. And so I may have to like fold it again so it's like really skinny for the first ruffle. But then it's like also kind of small. Yeah, okay, wait. So this one can go all the way down to the bottom. That's okay. Then the second one here, we're going to have to get rid of the uh 15 centimeters that's part of the first one right so we can fold that in half and obviously we're getting rid of more than 15 centimeters but that's probably a good thing and then for the third one okay and then if i fold it in half okay let me see if this works i'm just going to try and lay it let set it up before i show you okay let's see Okay, this is them laid out, like, figuring out the length. So you can see, like, the first one, it's not exact. It's, like, 15, and then the next one is 20, and then the next one is the rest of the way down. But it doesn't actually reach 75 centimeters, which, I mean, isn't the end of the world. Okay, so I've done some thinking, and I think it'll be all right, because it's still going to be, like, 10 centimeters down from my knee, even if it is just uh, 70 centimeters, like, in length this way. It'll still, my knee will be here so I mean that's not like that much but I think it's okay because yeah I think I think I'm gonna pin these because it's like folded um so that it doesn't like get all messed up and then I think I can start ruffling maybe okie dokie so 
I have pinned both sides of all of them because I'm thinking that if I sew the side that's folded over, it's going to be like fluffier than if I sew the side that's like this because then it'll like give it like, because otherwise it'll be like, yeah. Um, so I'm going to do um, two rows of like a basting stitch along the third one first. <laughs> so I'm going to do two rows of a basting stitch and then I'm going to uh, gather it so that it's the same length as the second one and then I'll sew it. Well, it's blurry. And then I'll sew it to. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Then I'll sew it to the second one. And then I'll do the same thing for the second one. So I'll sew two rows of a uh, basting stitch and then gather it to the same length as the first one. And then I will sew two rows on the basting stitch on the first one and then gather it so it is. Sixty-three centimeters, but probably a little more, so like sixty-five centimeters. But then, because after that, we'll like sew it so that it's like round. Um, but I'm gonna like, because I'm gonna sew up, but I'm gonna leave a little bit open. That way, um, that's where like I'll attach the ribbon, so I can like get into it and out of it. So, start with this one, two two rows of a basting stitch, and. Okay, so I have two rows of facing stitch. Now I'm just gonna oh pepper. I'm just gonna pull these essentially, and so it's all like nice and gathered. And then I'm trying to make it all even so that it is the same like this. This, yep. <laughs> okay, and. thinks he's helping. Okay, so then I'm gonna try and make it so the same length and then I'll sew it onto this one. And then I shall do what I did to this, to this, and then repeat. Okay, this is now fluffy. So this is now fluffy. I don't think I should have unpinned it quite yet, because now it's like that. But I think the gathery stuff is fairly even. Well, maybe it's a little light there. But it's about the same, well, yeah, it's like the same length as the second one, so I think I'm gonna pin it and then I'll show you and then sew it. Yeah, okay. I just remembered this has to start like whatever 20 centimeters on this one because that's what you talked about earlier because otherwise it's gonna be too long, so it's gonna start like here. It's not gonna start right at the bottom because this still needs to be nice and fluff. Okay, one more thing, hopefully. So I've pinned this down at the four corners, just in case. And then I've gone and I've marked, oh, you can see, the 20 centimeter line. Hopefully that way this is straight. Okay, now I will pin. Okay, all pinned. Um, hopefully it's all at 20 centimeters. It looks, it looks right. So now I'm going to sew this with just like a regular i don't know <laughs> i'm doing this on the the machine so you know <laughs> um and then of course like back stitching because i didn't hear and i'll cut but i'll show you and then i'm gonna start on this one okay this is where we're at i will pin wait no then i do basting stitch on this one yes okay okay i'll sew this and then just the last layer. Oh, wait. Of course, I have to sew it at whatever the 15 centimeter line is. <laughs> okay. And then the last layer. Okay, the second layer is now sewn to the first. And I also want to add and um, to the basting stitch along here, which is very bad in some places. But, oh well, that's okay. Um, so I'm going to gather that so that it's probably... A little bigger than it needs to be so my waist is 63 so I'll probably do it like I think I'll do it 65 because with the ribbon it'll be able to go bigger if I need it to here it is on Eliza my mannequin sewing dress thing <sighs> yeah so 
we're nearly done. I'm gonna stop because it's late. But um, I'm gonna put a ribbon on the top, and then I have to still sew this closed because it's open like this. Yep. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sew like about like maybe like to here or something, and then I'm gonna leave this much open because I'll have the ribbon that's coming around and I'll tie it. I think at the back or maybe in the front. I don't know. And so that way you like step into it. And this isn't open, but yeah. So far. Okay, so I have pinned all day long here, except I'm not gonna pin here because I'm not planning to sew it because I need an opening to actually get into. So I'm gonna sew this closed. This is like inside it right now and then I'll like turn it. And then I'm going to attach the ribbon, but yeah, I'm just gonna sew this and then I will be back. Okay, so I've sewn all the way until here. I'm gonna put it on Liza and then I'm gonna figure out what I should do about the ribbon. Okay, so I have two meters of ribbon, but I don't, <laughs> I shouldn't need that much. I think probably just like a meter or something. So I'm gonna fold it in half and then just see where that gets us around with like a bow or something. And then I think I'm gonna just stop fraying. I think I may just like fold over um, the ends and then just like sew them, like, and stitch them, um, or, yeah, okay, so I think I can probably, okay, wait one second, okay, so this is just, it folded in half with a bow, the bow isn't too hard to tie, so I think I'm gonna cut it so it's just, like, half of this, I think, probably a meter, I'm not sure exactly how much we have, but probably just a meter, and then, um, now, for sewing it on here, you kind of, see if we had thicker ribbon, I could like fold it so that it kind of covered all of this, because this is pretty ugly all the way down, but um, I mean, it's going to be hidden anyways. So, I may just sew it just like on the outside, like this, just so that the inside is just like, like this, and then the outside is covered. But yeah, I'll cut the ribbon for now, and then I might as well sew the ends as well. Yeah, okay. Okay, so I've cut the ribbon, and I've just, like, folded over the edges here and sewed it shut. Um, and I've also gone and marked the, I guess, measurement of my waist here, so that this will be how much I have on either side um, to tie the bow. And then I'm going to attach, now I guess have to, I'm going to pin the top to this, and then I'll sew around. But, yeah, okay. Okay, so I'm doing it on here because I think it'll be easier to manage. And what I've done is I've pinned back here, and then I pinned front, and then I pinned each side, so hopefully that these sides are even. And then because it's a little bit wider, um, I'm going to just kind of attach it. And then I'll just pin it to the ribbon. And then I think I may do this by hand just because I feel like it's a little more fine but so I'll show you after that and then I'll probably yeah I'll probably hand sew it but yeah okay so I've been around and I pinned it just kind of covering threads so that they're kind of hidden and then it's just like the ribbon there um I don't think I'm going to worry about these ones um I mean it's going to be covered up anyways but I'll just cover the threads with the ribbon here and then so that means there's like just a little bit of tool over top um, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna hand sew this for the, I don't know, <laughs> vibes, but, um, I'll probably, like, yeah. Okay, I will check in in probably quite some time. I finally finished sewing on the ribbon, which means that this is officially done. Yay! Oh yes, a very stylish look. Um, anyways, here is our, well, kind of, not really, but kind of 
the finished project, uh, well, at least for today. Um, obviously, this is just an undergarment, and the actual overskirt, the walking skirt, will come later. Um, but yeah, this is exciting. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching my first video. It's, yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, if you did enjoy, please, like, you know, comment, like, subscribe, all that jazz. Um, and yeah, I guess I will see you next time. Okay, bye!